So, I'm working two jobs at the moment, um, and in doing so, I have been working a lot of long weeks, like especially there was a couple in a row that I was working like 50 to 60 hours a week, and I got annoyed about it. So, as a up yours to capitalism, I made some impulsive decisions, one of which was to get my lip pierced. The other was this trip, because if I can book a spontaneous holiday to Norway, then nobody owns me but me. I think that's what my subconscious is really trying to do here. So, let's see how this goes. So the airport looks like a real airport. <laughs> Good, that's what we want. I've only now, in the past five minutes, become aware of how little I know about Norway. We've thrown okay, ourselves okay, so into the Norwegian we're wilderness. We're basically fucking uh, the stars in our eyes. No, what's, what's that, that one? What's the book? Just <laughs> <laughs> a video about it and I'm gonna call it the stars in our So when I told people we were going to Norway by accident yeah. I've only found out three things. Number one, it's beautiful. Number two, it is really 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 expensive. expensive yeah, I that. Number three, everyone speaks English. I hate to be like um, a British person. Just like goes to foreign countries and like talks English at them, yeah. but that that'll help us because we're ignorant. Right. It's gonna be an adventure. Yeah. We're in Norway. We can't turn back now. <laughs> no, I know. Norway. It says no back. We don't know how to get from here to Oslo. All right, Mr. Technology, what are you doing? I'm hacking into the Norwegian mainframe. <laughs> Is the password Buffalo? Yes! Even if the train doesn't show up, at the very least, we know we can just head in that direction. Just keep walking. Came Sean and this is the plant. We found our way from the suspicious airport all the way to Oslo. We're now in Oslo and now we have to find our hotel. I don't really know what year it is or where I am, but I think I like it. Fright or bowling bubble bubble bubble. I paid 85 something for a Coke, a coffee, and a cookie. Paid 49 for a hot dog. In fairness, it was really nice hot dog. Would you pay 49 quid for it though? Yes. Okay, bit of Norwegian foliage. It looks like an IKEA showroom. We're not even stuck in the Norwegian wilderness. Hey, eh, Sean? Yeah. Sean is a bit tired of the journey. <laughs> Currency is already causing great confusion. There's too many knock. <laughs> too much knock. It's like worth less than a cent, isn't it? Idiot. So, what are these? 20 gone. We don't have much money. No. The 600. Mm. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be grand. Right, let's get on the internet. Here we go. You ready for adventures? Adventure! Adventure is on there. Can we go up on the hill? Up on the hill? There's the, I saw a hill on the way. Can we go up on it? Okay. Yay. Where do you want to go, Sean? Do you want to go to Acne? I was thinking of my shop there for um, <laughs> spots. <laughs> What's the aim of the hill? I just don't like hills. In the dark? Yeah. Fire uh, burning the road, man. Where are the other roads going? It's like badly directed extra. <laughs> Stop judging me though, okay? It was good drainage. It's really good. This is what the water does. It just it flows down. It's really good drainage, Sean. Yeah, it's, it's a perfectly stuff, yeah. reasonable thing to comment on. Look how efficient this is. How are you enjoying your, um, your borderline £10 pint, Sean? Oh, yes. It's definitely worth And they've £10. only got one beer on tap. So they have this, and that's it. It's fine, but it's not worth the tenner. So we're nursing them really slowly. Nursing it. One sip at a time. Tastes like money. Tastes like money. That's Good night, Sean. Night, Kim. Baby, we're just... Dirty <laughs> people. Don't you say a word about my shoes. If you do, I'll break your face. That's, that's the original version. It's just not the accessible to the general populace. Like, what I think she does is because, so obviously... what we need to do in response to that is get really famous so that <laughs> stories about our lives are accessible to the yeah. general populace and then she can carry on right That's why we came to Oslo, to be famous. <laughs> because of both. It's not working so far. Now, I mean, All we've done is add a pint. We're on the way. It's like when people in like small towns in America go to Hollywood to make it big. It's in Europe, you go to Oslo. Yeah, that's yeah. well known. Oslo is Europe's Hollywood. Mm -hmm. It's because of all the free education. Yeah. That makes sense, doesn't it?
Sure, that's the opposite of Hollywood. <laughs> Literator, who's it? I don't know your influential. Well, Kim, I think you'll find that Anno Domini McCummick six 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 eight eight, and uh, I mean that's that's really all that needs to be said, isn't it? Why does the money have holes in, Sean? We need to go through the forest <laughs> and then straight on to the morning. I don't know what's happening. He looks quite happy about it though. Well, their hats are like, you know, the English guys have the straight up stuff. Yeah. Their hats are kind of like the emo version of that. Where it's, just kind of down. <laughs> it's all coming up new in house. <laughs> All oh, coming up new now. Right. We got a little train. We got a little train up the mountain. I was going to say we walked all the way up. Okay. <laughs> we walked all the way up the mountain. Yeah. So it's like, we're going into this ski just jump. Keeps, it, you just, also ski just jump tower. Going <laughs> yeah, just, we're going to this ski tower thing that you can see a view in. But it's just not the best and clearest weather I've ever seen. So I don't know how much more I'll be able to see. But we we'll call him Tim. Calling him Tim. Bye, right, Tim. Welcome to the biggest and best ski fest in the world. Ski fest? Yeah, that's like, <laughs> ski needs. You come down the ski jump and you go whoop whoop, and somewhere in central Oslo, it's just like a pool waiting. There's a landing for point. The mountain, yeah. Lemony Snicket lives there. Guess we go to the Recepts, John. I think we can safely say that when it's nice weather, this must look absolutely lovely. Mm. I mean, I like it anyway. It's quite nice anyway, yeah. It's, I don't know, it just up here is really peaceful. But yeah. imagine it was sunny and the sky was blue. That would be lovely. So good. I find it like, I don't know, I'm not really let down because to me this is just like home weather. <laughs> I just feel like, oh, it's just, just a normal day. We just day. brought the weather from the UK and Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> stands for bud to... No, get no stands for me. Oh, no, no passengers. <laughs> Regardless of everything anyway, Sean's just having a good time with the snow. It's great. We found this this ski slab, which is the one that you can go in for a view, but I don't feel like it's going to happen today. I decided if I was to do this with no skiing experience, I would <laughs> most definitely end up just in these rocks at the side. That's that's where I would land. I think I'd hit the big red thing. Um, just even if it wasn't there, yeah. I'd somehow manage to hit it. You'd be going down, and the guy <laughs> controlling it would just feel himself just yeah. pulled onto the slope. Like, what's going on? To me. This man, I feel, was a skier who didn't reach his record and his personal trainer was so angry about it, he just suspended him here for good to think about what he did. It'd be really awkward if that's true and I'm filming a real man who's in absolute distress. <laughs> when they say ski simulator, do they mean that they just hang you up there? <laughs> told you, told you it was hard. I think you. <laughs> Underestimating how fun snow is. From up here, he looks even stupider. So does Sean, looking for me. Hey, Sean. Yep. What, what, should we go there? What, you mean the fun star ticker? <laughs> yeah. We did, so we, we did the ski. Ski, ski, ski. We skied. We skied. And <laughs> didn't mention. Um, and yeah, then, then we came back down and couldn't find a museum. No. And then the museum we did find, find wasn't the one we wanted because it was the history museum and it was closed. Oslo is no longer the most expensive city in the world! It's only Yay! the time. One of my favourite features of Oslo so far is the Norwegian website thing, like .co.uk.com. <laughs> the Norwegian website finishy thing is .no, <laughs> so it's just like YouTube.no. Even look at the little... The little tiny logo at the top corner of YouTube says, YouTube, no! <laughs> there, no. Was a, there was the one that was like, the tourist information stuff for Norway, and it was like, go to Norway, slash, no. <laughs> We're doing cheap pub. We're doing cheap pub. We found a pub uh, with pints that are less than £10. Pounds. That's why the kids, they're only £5. Pounds. We spotted some girls over there communicating with people in English, because I think they're Dutch. It's like we're speaking Dutch. Yeah. So we're hoping we can chat to them soon. Yeah. So we went to a pub. After a while, I was like, okay, settle this. Are you guys Dutch? We chatted to them for a long time. It's like 1 a.m. We're going to check out of our hotel and just go back so to we'll bed. get up at some stage in the morning and get our flight back to London. I mean, we assume get our flight back, but hey. So Who knows what's going to happen? I'd like to bid farewell to our little, our little Oslo abode. Bye, Ledger Bye, Ledger Thanks Richard. for your Wi-Fi. It's a new adventure. <laughs> Imagine if they were murderers. Huh? I don't know where I am. <laughs> it, it's like 3 a.m. I guys. have no idea where Wait. I am. All I know is that I'm cooking eggs. Yeah. I hope I don't miss my flight. These are our new friends. This one, hi. Oslo just gave me room. Hi. It was a very successful decision. What day is it? It's seven. There's seven days in the seven. <laughs> and if you fall asleep first, Wales officially wins. I'm obviously not going to fall asleep first. That's how it works. More coffee. <laughs> it's our last day, and 
in true just Sudsdor fashion. Beautiful. It's the most beautiful day we've Absolutely had in Oslo. Absolutely beautiful today. And we have to leave. And we went up the hill yesterday. We, we, we should have gone today, up the hill today. It would have been bloody luck. Amazing. Calzone. Calzone. Calzone is the greatest thing ever. It's just a pizza folded over and it, it is lush. It is Cold proper lush. Mm -hmm. Let's get tickets. Rock, 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 home. Calzone. Calzone. And now we're ready to, to not. We're ready to Norway. Dot no. <laughs> <laughs>